Hello. Thank you for listening. This is the near-death experience of Jala, and this experience occurred on October 12th, 1975, and was documented on January 24th of 2018. Open quote. At age 13, I had an uncle who passed away. He had been deceased for approximately two weeks when I had a dream, which he appeared in. He told me that I would be involved in an accident around age 16 years old. Everyone would believe that I would die, but I would survive. I told my mother of the dream because I was scared. She tried to comfort me by telling me it was just a dream. Fast forward to my 16th birthday. I was constantly worried until I turned age 17. The day I turned 17, I laughed because the dream would not come true now. Four days later, my horse opened the gate and had gotten out. I was putting a halter on him, and my sister's boyfriend walked up behind him. This spooked my horse, and his front legs hit both of my femurs and my right fibula. I was in the hospital for three months in traction. In the first three days in the hospital, I was suffering from my arterial blood gas being 28%. It was 8 o'clock a.m., and my doctor left the room. He did not know I was suffering from a fat embolism. My mother left the room to request that he come back to check on me. The nurses couldn't con- could not contact him. A woman came into my room, and I will never forget what she said. She apologized for taking too long to come see me, and that she had been extremely busy. She asked me where my mother was. I told her she went to find a doctor. This woman asked me what the doctors were going to do for me. I stated that I didn't know. She then said that she was going to find someone and left the room by exiting through the wall. Suddenly, a doctor who was running late from rounds came walking down the hall. My mother had asked the doctor to see me, and even though he was not my doctor, he agreed to look at me and called Code Blue. I was immediately sent to intensive care unit. I had an NDE. I saw a light come through the window and knew the light was coming for someone. As more of the light came through the window, I knew I was the one the light was coming for. Then I blacked out and found myself traveling at an extremely high rate of speed down a long tunnel. The distance was great and there was a presence with me. The light knew my every thought. I had an emotional feeling that I could not control this. My privacy was gone, but I could not know everything the light was thinking. I knew only what I was supposed to know. I knew that I was going to the end of the tunnel. I could see the light at the end of the tunnel that was the size of a pinhole. Then I was given a message that if I went through to the end of the tunnel, that I could not return. With all my willpower, I said no to keep from going through the threshold. When I came back to my body, I didn't have control of my body for a little while. I didn't sense evil, but the unknown scared me for a couple of weeks. I kept thinking I would leave my body and could not stop leaving if the light came back. I have reflection of this whole event from my dead uncle forwarding me to the light at the end of the tunnel. The all-knowing light could carry on an intimate conversation with every living thing on the planet Earth, all at the same time in their own language. It was thoughts without words, which were never spoken. It was telepathy. I was never told a name for the all-knowing light or what his or her title was, I just knew it was all-knowing. I tend now to lean towards believing in reincarnation. My mother said that when I went to the ICU, she walked past a chapel in the hospital. She felt like a source was pulling her in to pray, but as I know, she didn't didn't enter because she was heading for the phone to call the family. She was going to tell them to say their goodbyes upon the advice of the doctor. I hope this helps people who read this. I have since dedicated my life to rescuing animals and became a nurse. I think we are here to learn and help humanity, capital H, any way one we can. 
I wanted to give back what was, uh, what was given to me. I left with disability, but many did not even have that because they lost their young lives. I never forget that. End quote. Wow, Java. That was pretty amazing story. And your description of the tunnel and the light and how you were going there and how the light knew everything you knew, but you didn't know everything. You only knew what you were supposed to know. And then when you, with all your willpower, said, no, I'm not going to go to the end, that was pretty amazing. There are some questions here. Your highest level of consciousness and alertness. Answer. Uh, telepathy. Keen senses. All of them. No other way to describe it. Words came to me as if I had always had them. And I really enjoyed your, your summation, Jala, of how the light could carry on a conversation with every single human in the whole world in their own language all at the same time pretty amazing question did you pass into or through a tunnel answer yes when i first sensed the light and tried to hide my face from it oh, that was a great part too i knew someone was leaving with the light then i blacked out and instantly was in the long tunnel no words can describe the rate of speed i was traveling but i didn't see the end or the light when I was at the entrance of the end of the tunnel. I only saw it after I traveled a great distance. When I finally saw the end of the tunnel coming, I saw a bright light that looked like a dot, but it got bigger the closer I came to the end. I didn't have any, all caps, time to decide to not exit the tunnel because there was no return once I crossed the exit of this tunnel. I do not know what was on the other side of the end of the tunnel because if I entered it, I could not come back. Question, did you see an unearthly light? Answer, yes, before I entered the tunnel and once in the tunnel, the light was at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> the light was coming for you, for her. Question, did the scenes from the future come to you? My dad uncle told me of my accident three years before my accident. He said that everyone would believe I would die, but I would actually live. And that was a great, very interesting part there as well. Question, did you come to a border, a point of no return? Answer, I was told through telepathy that I could not return if I crossed the point to the light at the end of the tunnel. I knew myself that I was not ready to stay there. I wanted to come back. And I had to use my willpower to return. Question, what was your religion prior to your experience? Answer, do not know. I believe in a supreme being and that the soul lives on. Question, have your religious practices changed since your experience? Answer, yes, everything is sacred. Question, what is your religion now? Answer, unaffiliated, nothing in particular, religiously unaffiliated. I believe in life after death and possible reincarnation. Question, did your experience include features consistent with your earthly beliefs? Answer, entirely consistent. I really never thought much about life or death or religious views at 16 years old. I spent time on the farm playing and enjoying all the farm. Question, did you have a change in your values and beliefs because of your experience? Answer, yes. Help all you can in any way you can because it may be yourself that is needing help. I believe that if I can make it a difference, I should always do so for the good. We are not in this alone. Question, did you seem to encounter a mystical being in presence or hear an unidentifiable voice? Answer, the light had a presence and was with me through the tunnel, but I could not see the light in the tunnel with me, just its presence. I did see the light briefly before going into the tunnel. Mm -hmm. Question, during your experience, did you gain information about universal connection or oneness? Answer, yes. I just knew the light held all knowing from the tiniest fish in the ocean to the horse out in the field to the universe. I knew he was all knowing and I could feel his intelligence. Question during your experience, did you gain information about an afterlife answer? An afterlife definitely exists. The unearthly presence of the light and my dead uncle who forwarding me of my accident. 
Question, what life changes occurred in your life after the experience? Answer, large changes. What is the purpose of life? It has to be to learn, help others, share love, and understanding. Question, was the experience difficult to express in words? Answer, yes. The emotion and feeling of the whole experience could not be described accurately. For example, if you threw a glass at a brick wall, you know it's going to shatter. But you don't say this glass is going to shatter. You just know it. How accurately do you remember the experience? Answer, more accurately than other events around the same time. Question, do you have any psychic, non-ordinary, or other special gifts after your experience that you did not have before the experience? Answer, yes. I have been given messages from dead people to pass on to their loved ones still here. I also have noticed the dead come back to make amends with wrongdoing to the people they feel could have hurt. Hmm. Question, are there one or several parts of your experience that are especially meaningful or significant to you? Answer, maybe I lived through the accident and other people have not survived theirs. I feel I have to something or else I would have died also. Not sure what that means. Maybe that she consciously uh, wanted to return and put all her effort into it. I'm not really sure. She used her willpower. Question, are there one or several parts of the experience that are especially meaningful or significant to you? Answer, um, <laughs> I think I just read that. Sorry. Have you ever shared this experience with others? Answer, yes. Soon, most people, including the doctor, find it interesting. But I feel I need to share, and I always tell all doctors and nurses that special angels have their presence in the hospital, standing over the patient and staff. Everyone matters. Yeah, down to the person that's coming through the going through the walls to get a doctor for you. Question, what do you believe about the reality of your experience? Answer, the experience was probably real. Wonderful if in the mind or if it was reality. Then I think of my dead uncle who told me before the accident happened. I believe now. Many things have come to me over the years. Too much to explain. Mm, I bet you that's some interesting stories. Question, at any time in your life, has anything ever reproduced any part of this? the experience? Answer, no. Question, is there anything else you would like to add about your experience? Answer, pray and be understanding. Question, are there any other questions we could ask to help you communicate your experience? Answer, yes. I was told by my great-grandma that people born with a birth sack on their head at birth were said to have the gift of sight. Maybe this could be a question like many other religious or beliefs. It would be interesting to know, by the way, I was born with a birth sack. <laughs> I do not know if I was born with a birth sack. <laughs> I don't know if you guys do either, but Jala was. Thank you, Jala. That was an excellent story, an awesome uh, depiction and amazing event that occurred to you amazing experience we appreciate you sharing and thanks outside out there for listening hope you have a great day